Today, flags at the U.S. Capitol were ordered to fly at half-staff, this in solidarity with Israel, as the death toll from the war climbs on both sides. I'm joined right now by NBC's Julie Serkin, who's joining us from Capitol Hill. So I understand there's some breaking news about a congressman. Julie, what do you know about who this is, where that congressman was, and was he or she, were they uh, with family, were they traveling, were they on business, do you know? Yeah, this is Congressman Dan Goldman of New York. He's a freshman lawmaker. I know before he was a congressman, he was often on this program and on MSNBC, mm -hmm. and he acted, of course, as one of the Democratic uh, lawyers during the impeachment hearing. So we are all quite familiar with him. But he was in Israel traveling with his family for a bar mitzvah. Uh, his spokesperson putting out a statement just a short time ago, if I can read you part of it, saying uh, in part that Congressman Goldman and his family sheltered from Hamas rocket fire in their hotel's interior your stairwell until early Sunday morning when they were able to safely depart for New York and went on to say that Congressman Goldman is grateful for the assistance of the State Department and Israeli authorities, and he hopes all Americans can come together to support Israel's right to defend herself from terrorism and war crimes. I should note this comes after we received a statement first to NBC News from Senator Booker's office, Senator Cory Booker, who was actually traveling as part of a delegation. It was just him and his staff members. Israel was the first stop on what was supposed supposed to be a multi-nation trip. He was in Jerusalem when the fire uh, broke out from the Hamas attack. He was able to safely make it back home to New Jersey, and that's why uh, his office then putting out that statement saying he was safe. I also want to talk to you about what's going on in Congress right now. Obviously, the Senate and House members, frankly, are traveling because they are not in session. The Senate is out next week, but the House is operating without a speaker in any case, something that lawmakers on both sides of the aisle, frankly, are calling up as a problem, especially when it comes to the U.S. government potentially needing to respond, Congress needing to appropriate additional funds uh, for Israel to be able to defend itself, and also replenishing that Iron Dome that you heard our reporters on the ground there talk about so much. Here's what Seth Moulton, a congressman, a veteran, he was a Marine, had to say about the situation that has paralyzed, frankly, the House of Representatives. 